Hello! This is going to be a very quick tutorial on how to use Screencast-O-Matic. If you look on this front screen, I have a little link to screencast-o-matic.com. If you want to take this time to pause the video and you can type it in, or you can just Google search Screencast-O-Matic, and it's the first thing that comes up. Alright, so I'm going to take you to the website so you can see what I'm talking about. We'll get to that later. Alright. So, like, just a little side note. Right now I'm in Google Slides, and I feel like Google Slides is the easiest thing to use with Screencast-O-Matic. Um, I'm going to try and use a smart board-like program later and see how that works. But, like, for me, right now, the easiest thing to use is Google, because it's really easy to get in and out of and switch to the slides, but totally up to you. Um, so, I'm going to open up a new tab, and I'm going to go to Screencast-O-Matic. <laughs> And this is what the screen's going to look like. So there's a free version that lets you record up to 15 minutes. And really, like, I found that I don't need more than 15 minutes to do these videos. Honestly, 15 minutes of me talking to myself probably isn't something that we need out in the world anyway. So I would say go with the free one. I did the upgraded version, and I'm finding that I'm only recording videos that are, like, 15 minutes and, like, 40 seconds long. So really, I probably didn't need it. But... If you want to just click launch recorder. So I tried to launch the recorder and it's like it's already open, duh, because I am recording this right now. But when you launch the recorder, it's going to kind of pop up in the bottom. It's something that um, downloads to your browser. So like it's not like a file. It's like something that downloads to your browser. So you have to keep coming back to the website when you want to use it. So anytime you want to launch the browser or you want to launch the recorder, you just have to come back to Screencast-O-Matic to launch that recorder. And so it'll pop up and it'll come to the bottom of your screen. You'll click on it to launch it and then it will launch on your screen and it will put something that looks like this in the bottom corner. I have these little graphics because, because I'm using it, I can't show you those little graphics. So you'll see something that looks like this in the bottom corner. It will just pop up. It's this little thing down here and it has like a record button and a little settings button. <clears throat> and this thing will just automatically pop up. And this is the thing that I, I wanna show you how to use because it's not as intuitive as I thought it was. So you have three options. You can either do a screencast, so just, just recording your screen. You can do webcam, which is just recording the webcam. I guess I can show you what it looks like. So if you're just recording the screen, it would look like this. If you're just doing your webcam, it would look like this. And if you were going to do a split screen, it looks like this, like what I have right now. So that's where you decide that. <clears throat> and then also something cool, if you do the split screen, you can decide to do that. You just saw me do it. You can do it during the video. So if you want to like play a video and disappear for a moment, I'll show you how to do that in a couple minutes, about how you can make yourself disappear. Um, some other things to know when you're in here. You want to make sure your narration is on. So you want to do that by clicking on this narration tab and clicking default microphone. And it'll, it'll bring you through the process like, hey, we want, we want to allow your microphone. Just say yes. So it allows your microphone from your computer. If for some reason you don't have a microphone on your computer, I think we all have the same computers. But if you don't have a microphone on the computer, you can actually use um, earbuds with a little microphone in them. And that'll work too. Or maybe you have a headset or something, whatever you have at home. Um, the next important thing to do is make sure that you turn on the computer audio. This is important if you're doing any videos during your video. For example, um, if you look at like my morning meeting videos, you can see that like I pull away and I play like a Storybots video or something like that, or I pull away and I'll play like a month of the year video or something like that. If you want the video to pick up the sound from the YouTube video, you have to have your computer audio on. Or um, I do... <clears throat> I do the reading feature on News to You. If you want it to pick up the reading of the article for News to You, you have to have um, this computer audio on. So make sure you turn that on before you start because you might record an entire lesson and find out that none of your videos were working, and that's really sad. All right, so something else. If you look right here, I kind of just like isolated this little graphic. That's the little thing that pops up in the side. Um, if you exit out of this, that will disappear, but anytime you want to pull it back up, you just click on this button right here. This is the little settings button. All right. 
when you click on settings, if you come to preferences and click on preferences where my cursor is right now, this is going to pop up. And if you want to take a minute like or come back to this while you're recording and just make sure that all your settings match mine. If you want your video to look like mine, if you want the screen, the um, webcam in the front, like not to disappear when you click on tabs and stuff, this is what your settings needs to look like. So just thought I'd take a screenshot of that so you can see what it's supposed to look like. Okay, so from my perspective, right now you just see me in the corner, right? But from my perspective, this is what it looks like in the interface when I'm doing the video. And this is what I was talking about if you follow my cursor. Right now I'm in this mode. And in this mode, you can see me as a little box. And the cool thing about the little box is it can move. So I can come over here and I could say, right now you see me in this little box. And that gives me free range of the screen, right? If you wanted full screen, you would click on this one right here with the, the big webcam screen in it. And that would make me look like this. So like if I were doing read alouds or something like that, I would probably want to be in full screen. I'm just trying to think of reasons I would use full screen. Um, honestly, I'm just using small screen at this point because for my hearing impaired kids who do sign language, and honestly, cute speech is great for anybody who can see me doing cute speech. Um, I think it's good just to have like a little extra in the corner. So that's just my preference. But honestly, you could record the whole thing like this and you could be gone from the video if you just want the audio component of your video. And that would be done by clicking this guy right here. All right. Let's see what else we have. I think that's it. I'm trying to think of anything else you might need. I guess like a tip for videoing would probably be have a clean background behind you. This is as clean as I could get. I'm in the process of trying to get some paper because I think because my skin is so white, it would be good for me to have a darker background, maybe like a green, just a solid color. So I'm going to try and get some paper as we move forward and I make more videos. Um, <clears throat> and I guess that's it. Also, I mean, I don't know if you've ever videoed before, but like for me, um, if you're videoing on a flat surface that's lower than you, I feel like one, it's not very flattering. It's okay. But two, I feel like it's harder to see my hands like when I'm signing. I feel like when I sign and the video is down, I feel like you're seeing my hands, but you're not necessarily seeing my facial expressions. It's not like the full picture. Whereas like when it's directly on, like directly at my level, I feel like you get a better full sign. Um, or full image of what I'm signing. So I put something like, right now I have like a little pot. I just put it on the little pot so that it is higher and it's more like in my, my direct line of vision here. And I just think it's better when I'm signing. And obviously it'd be better if I had a darker background when I'm signing because you can't totally see my hands as well as I'd like you to. So that is how you use Screencast on Mac. I'm gonna come back to this original screen so that you can see the link again and get started. All right, good luck. I miss you all.